We have the official Vega release date for Double Sure this time, plus some info on the more than likely upcoming Vega Pro card, and AMD seems to be doing great in the CPU market. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. First up, I wanted to go over a couple tweets that I didn't go over in the last video. Basically, AMD has doubly reassured us of RX Vega's full announcement and release with said tweets. Radeon RX's official Twitter started the discussion by guaranteeing the announcement at SIGGRAPH, as was originally promised by Lisa Sue. It was then followed up by one of their marketing team members by confirming it would actually launch at SIGGRAPH. So between July 30th and August 3rd, we will finally get the full specs and details of the long-awaited RX Vega. Next, I really quickly wanted to address yesterday's video. Let's just say it didn't exactly go over well, but I did want to reassure everyone that I honestly wasn't saying Vega Frontier was a bad card. I actually think it's a great card for its same and price. When the price was even announced, I did a video explaining why the price isn't bad at all. My only intent for the last video was to explain why it makes sense to discuss the gaming benchmark since it has the same drivers as RX Vega as well as supposedly very similar or the exact same 32-bit compute performance, which isn't the same as, say, Quadro cards that have very little. Plus, with AMD talking 60fps 4K at their earnings call and Raja stating smooth 4K gaming with a Frontier card, it just shouldn't be unreasonable to discuss it in my opinion. Now, with that said, it almost certainly is just the drivers, so it should get far faster performance in the future. And I still see RX Vega where I always have, so I wasn't really disappointed or anything. If they can come in with a fantastic price in between the 1080 and 1080 Ti's, I'd be pretty happy. It may even go past the 1080 Ti, I just highly doubt it. And I think some people are honestly going to be disappointed, but ultimately, it's how you look at it. I also somewhat kind of think they hyped it a little bit too much, but hey, let's definitely wait and see. Next up for today is Vega's fully professional card brought to us by Tech Power Up. We don't have too much, but it was spotted in CompuBench as the Radeon Pro WX9100. It was running much lower clocks than Vega Frontier, but that's understandable given it's made specifically for professional applications. And if you hear raining in the background and thunder, that's because we're kind of in the middle of a thunderstorm. I chose the perfect time to start recording. <laughs> Lastly, there's some huge news when it comes to AMD's success. According to Passmark's quarterly market share report, AMD has taken a massive CPU market share in the second quarter of 2017. They've actually gained a whopping 10.4% share when it comes to the x86 CPU space between AMD and Intel, which is pretty impressive to say the least. It shows all the hype and talk wasn't just, well, hype and talk. People are actually buying far more AMD processors as of late. Of course, with it being a new product launch, especially with their hiatus, it's not too surprising, but it's bigger than you might think. This marks the biggest x86 market share gain in their history, and they moved from only a 20.6 CPU market share to 31%. That means they had a gain of 53% in one quarter. This puts more users running AMD CPUs since over a decade. Honestly, I think they've earned it, as they definitely put a ton of work into their newest Zen architecture, and clearly their sales show as much. What's even more insane is that this is really just based on Ryzen. They still have Epic and Threadripper when they're released, so they've got tons more to gain. I honestly think this is great news for gamers who opted to go with Ryzen, as we should see game developers look at AMD for optimization quite a bit more. So what do you think about today's news? Excited for RX Vega in a month, or are you just happy AMD is doing far better? Let me know in the comments below, and if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe, it helps me out a ton. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.